Well, hello again. So today uh, we will be replacing capacitors in this other Victor 721. We will be replacing these guys as we did in the previous deck. Uh, for that green guys, as I told you before, and that's my best experience with every single deck. As soon as I replace it on Sony K5, every other deck just works to, to be replaced. The sound difference is huge. Uh, considering like upgrade for the <coughs> Sony 965 I have, it did a great job. It did a minor change on the Nakamichi. Uh, what else? I had a couple other decks when capacitor replacement significantly changes the sound. Uh, and I would say that I like it much better. I have two real drills where I replaced capacitors and transistors. Those are work much better now. But uh, at real to use, I cannot hear such significant difference. On Sony and GVC probably is the biggest difference I've heard to the point. Remember we've been replacing Sony as a brownish and bluish capacitors, right? Uh, with uh, gold and green ones from Nishikon. And here in GVC uh, I replacing this green and blue and those are giving uh, very very good results so sound came like open vibrant and just beautiful you just need to listen yourself so if you have heard like multiple guys are doing upgrades of capacitors for Nichicon use on the older Max. I believe this more modern decks are require this as well. I'm waiting for Sony 555. I just won and I will be doing replacements on it as well because I just like the full and open and bright and nice sound as I can get at this age we are comparing the decks but we need to be fair that capacitors are worn out some decks may be stored in the hot conditions that's where capacitors don't keep well with age uh, and so on so I, I will remove both top and bottom cover because we will need access to the two boards in this deck. So just let me know what you do think about this <laughs> job. Uh, it's extremely good for high end decks. Really. We have it done. Uh, my, my recent uh, finding so, my friend from California, he just did upgrade uh, on Sony PCK620 with new capacitors and just was blown out with the sound and got this deck sold immediately. The next day it appeared in tape test. So that's how good those decks sound after upgrading. So try it yourself. Highly recommend. Okay. Get the first part disassembled. Now I would need to remove this board. So there are a bunch of screws. Mm. 
Getting closer. One more, yeah. and we would be able to pull up some of the backboard. One more. But as you heard, we need to replace both playback and record in the fire seconds to make it look the best. Remove this plate here. Like that. Then unclick the shaft and pull it out. out like that easy peasy right let me see what we see okay right. Put a little bit here now we can unscrew this nice plate
now we can remove the split out and get access to the vehicle amplifier. And we're kind of ready to move forward. So we need to replace uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guys. On this board, I believe 10 on the other. So. I probably may need schematic to make sure. So excuse me for a moment. We'll get back to you in the next part. <laughs> 